let's show this problem right here. The question is asking if a pair of 120 Newton force is applied to the handles of the pliers, determine the clamping force each uh, lever member exert on the small metal ball at A and on the jointing, joining pin at P, B. So what's going to happen is, you know, this this is a, first of all we have to recognize that this is a two force member. If you take, pick up this value, this one, this this thing right here, uh, this one is this one gonna have two forces because this one is pulling this down, this one is pulling this down. So we only have two forces. So whatever the forces you calculate, for example, let's say this is uh, FA, that's gonna be same here, FA. And therefore, what you have to do is, if you take one of these thing and find out the forces, that's gonna be equal to the other side. So we have we have to take only one of these things. So let's do this one. So I am taking the top part. If you take the bottom part, you will get the same answer. So you can choose whatever you want. But I am choosing the top part. So top part, I am drawing the free body diagram of this one. Okay, so let's see. This is the top part. And we have a 120 Newton, I think, on it. 120 Newton. And this is uh, this is uh, we have a B right here. This is a pin, and therefore this is gonna have two forces. For example, uh, B X, B Y. The direction doesn't matter. You can pick whatever the direction you want because the final answer is gonna give the give the answer anyway. Because if you get a negative value, that means the direct direction you have assumption is wrong. The the forces acting in the opposite side of the direction you chose. So that's the, that's how we find out the direction. And let's assume this uh, this FA is acting on this side. And uh, let's call it FA, right? FA. And then uh, they have given that the distance between them is 50 millimeter. Also from this B, the distance for this one is uh, 300 millimeter. And these are the information we have and also they have given this 45 degrees and if you see this is a parallel to this one therefore if you draw a horizontal line it's going to make 45 degree with the horizontal and uh, if it's horizontal if the horizontal is 45 vertical uh, i mean para with the vertical also is 45 so that's all the information we have so from this one we can create the equation find the forces first of all if you think about this if a b has two unknown forces so if I take the moment around B, I can find the FA. So if I take moment around B, what's going to happen is the, these two forces will be eliminated, and I can find uh, this FA. So let's do that. So if I take moment around A, and this is going to be zero in statics, and if I take counterclockwise positive, and solve for this one, what's going to happen is it's 120 newton pushing this object in the clockwise. So it's going to be negative negative 120 times the distance is 300 300 and also we have FA pushing this also in uh, one more things to know that uh, when we take the moment we have to have the forces exactly perpendicular to the object so we shouldn't take, change this one into cos 40 by or sin 40 by we are not uh, looking at the straight vertical we are looking for vertical like exactly perpendicular to the object so we have to keep it like this right the, when we calculate the moment, so when we do the summation of f of x, y of y, then we have to change. But in this case, we don't have to change. We shouldn't change. So we, we should keep it perpendicular to the object. So therefore, I'm taking like this. So it's going to be it's pushing this object in the counterclockwise. Therefore, this is going to be positive. And also, if you see the distance is given, that's 50 millimeters. So I multiply this one by 50 millimeter. And these are the only two forces that are creating the moment around B, then that's all it is. Then if I equalize this one to zero, I can find the F, F of A. So let's see, this is F of A equal to, if I bring this one to the other side, this is going to become 300 times positive, it's going to become positive, so 300 times 120. And then if I divide this one by 50, let's see what's going to happen. So 120 divided by 50, so 
and five times so five five times sixty is thirty. Uh, I mean it's three hundred. Sixty is three hundred. Six sixty times twelve is going to be seven hundred and twenty. Seven hundred twenty. The answer is positive. Therefore, our assumption direction is right. So that's the direction of this force. So from this information, I can now find the f of uh, solve for b f b x and b y because if I take summation of f of y equal to zero in statics and if I take upper direction positive and solve for this one we are going to have 120 acting in the downside so it's going to be negative then we have f a now we have to change this one into a vertical component so to do that I have to multiply this one by cos 45 so this is going to be minus f a cos 45 cos 45 then we have b by x acting downside is going to be minus b by equal to 0 and if I take uh, if I take the b by to the other side b by will become positive therefore we have minus 120 minus fa cos 45 fa, FA we found out already is 720 times cos 45 and if I calculate this value this comes out to be 629 and it's negative 629 0.12 newton and since the answer is negative it means the force is acting up upper side so basically we are we already know from the diagram that this that this acting opposite side of the force we chosen also you can mention that by is 629 point12 newton upper direction if you want so this is our answer for by. Then uh, if I take summation of f of x, I can find the bx. So let's do that. Summation of f of x equal to zero. And if I take this direction positive and solve for this one, what's going to happen is we are going to have f a cos 45. Cos 45, sine 45, same thing. You can choose whatever you want. Mm, f a cos 45, and it's in the positive direction, so it's going to be positive. Cos 45. Then we have bx in the positive direction, so plus bx. So if I solve for bx, bx comes out to be minus fa plus 45. So minus fa plus 45 I mean minus 720 times plus 45. So if I calculate this value, this one comes out to be 509.12, 509.12 newton, and this is bx. And this is negative. Therefore, it also this also shows that uh, the our assumption is uh, wrong that the force is acting exactly opposite direction. Also, you can mention it. Um, yeah, if you want, you can mention. So B X is equal to 509.12 newton in the this direction. So that's what this means. And that's all we have to find. So the question is find the so forces each level member exert on small metal ball A and the pin at B. So we found FA and BXBY. So that's all we had to find and that's all about it. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.